on Omar a moment ago. Um, you know, yesterday, one of your members, Michael Waltz of Florida, referred to that part of the squad as the Hamas squad because uh, in the past she has uh, equated the United States and Israel with Hamas and other terrorists. Uh, Nancy Pelosi says it's that's a terrible thing to do. Uh, she said, quote, it's not constructive. In fact, it's dangerous for them to speak that way, mentioning Hamas squad. It's dangerous to the target of their comments, but they don't appreciate that. They don't care about that. She's your counterpart across the aisle. What do you have to say to her about that? I think Nancy Pelosi should remove Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee. This is an individual that has not once, but on numerous occasions, been anti Semitic. Her own entire Congress had to rebuke her in the last one. But she's just not anti-Semitic. She's anti-American now. She's equating America to Taliban, to Hamas. She's discrediting our greatest ally in the Middle East, Israel, the only democracy. But the Democratic Party and the leader of that party, the Speaker, <coughs> said on her Sunday show that she did not rebuke her. She thanked her. So the <laughs> Democrats believe this message? Right. That is what's in doubt for me. I will promise you this. If we are fortunate enough to have the majority, Omar would not be serving on foreign affairs or anybody that has an anti-Semitic, anti-American view. That is not productive and that is not right. Congressman, famously, this infrastructure bill, this bipartisan...